So what we're going to cover in this video is uh, how we set up the uh, Renishaw spindle probe and tool setter on Speedio. So we have an OMP40, OMI, and a TS27R. All three of them were just bought individually, piecing together from eBay. Uh, what we're not going to cover in this video is the macros or pairing the OMP40 to the OMI. Uh, you're going to have to do the dance with the batteries and setting the uh, probe. So if we look at our I.O. screen, and I'm going to go into PLC, standard ladder. This isn't standard, we just added this one line. Uh, it's the easiest way to show the skip signal being on and off. If I just touch our tool setter, see our signal coming on. Going to our data bank, external I.O., you can see uh, terminal one, number 100, uh, we put a M406 in there, so that's our relay switching between the tool setter and the spindle probe. M406 will turn it on, M407 will turn it off. I go to MDI mode and run. And then M406. You can see our spindle probe came on, and on the left side, you can see the uh, LEDs on the OMI went green. So I'll turn that off. And spindle probe goes back off. Uh, I'll do that one more time, actually. Spindle probe back on, go back to the ladder. Now our uh, spindle probe is the uh, skip signal we're looking at. So if we look in our cabinet, we've got our XTI and XTO board uh, where we have our outputs going in um, and then our XTIO A and B, where we have our skip signals wired to. Uh, we have our OMI cable coming in here, I'm going to a couple of terminal blocks, as well as uh, our relay. And we're supplying it with 24 volts and ground, and then the relay is obviously swapping between our skip signals. So forgive the uh, shaky cam, it's hard to get in here. Uh, just looking at the uh, wires we're using from our OMI, from left to right, we have ground, which is just connected to a ground terminal block, our uh, purple and black stripe, then purple, red, black, our teal, and then teal and black. And you can see the labels we have uh, for each of those wires. Uh, it's a little hard to see the far right one, but that's just a jumper for the uh, oh my black and blue. That's going to our spindle probe. And then the leftmost uh, cable uh, that is on our probe, that's going to our HSI on wire number seven. The one that's turned around is our 0100-P wire. And look down on the right here, we have our HSI uh, from Renishaw for our TS27R. And on our HSI, we have the HSI 7 wire, let's go into our relay, XTIO 13, ground, and these labels still need to be switched. So it's 24 volt supply and 0 volt supply, which we'll look at next. So what's labeled as 24 volt supply and 0 volt supply on the HSI, uh, that uh, needs to be changed in the labels to IO24 and IOG.